first president of the United States, George Washington, said, make the most of the Indian hemp and sow it everywhere. In addition, Barack Obama, the current president of the United States, said that he doesn't believe that marijuana is any worse than alcohol. Ruben Beeler, the scientist of, or actually, the beginning, if the leaders of our country, since the beginning of the foundation, thought that it was okay for marijuana to be around, then why is it not okay now? Ruben Paler, a scientist from the National Institute of Drug Abuse, said that you can die from binge drinking within five minutes after inducing from alcohol, but that won't happen with marijuana. So if our country is based on intellect and freedom, then why would we allow something that would make you die in five minutes be legal, but not something that has no limit of use? First, I'm going to talk about the medical benefits of marijuana. Secondly, I will be talking about how it is a better alternative than alcohol and cigarettes. And thirdly, I will talk about the process to getting it legalized. I will begin by telling you about how marijuana is used as a medicine. Living in California, it is very hard to not come across someone who has a med card or know how marijuana can be treated. This is because there are 174 different diseases that marijuana treats, and there are 84,000 medical cards in California alone. It is very hard to see a family, friend, or acquaintance suffer from any kind of disease. Luckily, marijuana can help. Barth will see an MD, a pain medicine specialist, at the University of California Davis Medical Center, and a feature by WebMD from Ann Hardy said that pain is the main reason people ask for prescription. This can be because this can be because of headaches, um, cancer, glaucoma, or nerve pain. Marijuana can increase appetite and can save people from weight loss. A personal story of mine is a six-year-old named Desi who had cancer. She would not be able to eat for days, and the only thing that could make her eat is taking capsules of marijuana. Marijuana also gives a sense of euphoria and a purpose of life, which can make people hold on to that next day or the next treatment they're gonna have to go through. Um, marijuana is FDA approved, and the main chemical that makes it is called THC, or tetrahydrocannabinol. Your body already makes the chemicals that can reduce pain and inflammation, and marijuana just enhances these things. Some may say, well, smoking is gonna affect your lungs one day. Well, there are other treatments of marijuana, such as eating it, or taking a liquid abstract, or a pill. This makes it more easily taken and can be used by many age groups. Now I'm going to talk about, now that you've heard a bit about the medical benefits of marijuana, I'm going to talk about how marijuana is a better alternative than alcohol or cigarettes. According to a study done by Zachary Zerlis from Bangor Daily News last year on 420, he said that people don't overdose on marijuana. Kids don't get wild and crazy from smoking too much pot, and they don't get taken to the hospital for marijuana poisoning, or get in a marijuana-induced car accident. It's not easy to slip a pill into a girl's bowl at a party, and it's very hard to get violent or angry when you're on marijuana. It doesn't change your mood or behavior much, as much as alcohol does. Um, and as far as cigarettes, if you look at a cigarette smoker and a marijuana smoker, you may notice that the person who smokes cigarettes has more yellow teeth, they may look older, the hair is thinner, and they smell like cigarettes. Um, now that we have talked about how marijuana is a better alternative than alcohol and cigarettes, I will go on to how we can make this possible. So the first step would be to start funding. 
we need to get money so that we can educate the public about marijuana and how it's better and how it's more medical. Now that we've had more publicity, people are more accepting of marijuana, so it's easier to get the votes. We need to hire people who can write the bill and then we can send it to the governor. And yeah. Finally, I've today I've talked about the medical benefits of marijuana, how marijuana is better than cigarettes and alcohol, and how we can make marijuana legal. So today I'm asking from you to please vote for the bill and give us your money so that we can make legalized marijuana and we can all enjoy a better alternative at recreational use of drugs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>